the five series is coming up tonight. Motor City Machine Guns, Beer Money Incorporated. That's up next. Two out of three falls. Up next, can't wait for that. Just uh, talk about a robbery, something that's amazing. The chemistry between the guns and beer money. Folks, if you haven't seen any of the matches thus far, you got to catch this last one. It's coming up next right here on the whole effing show. Off the quick reversal. Hardy comes right at Moore, elevated out to the apron, and then the inside out shoulder block oh my God. leads to a sunset flip wait, attempt, and Hardy holding on for dear life. Dangerous area here. Oh, oh, what, a, what, a, what a way to improvise right in the middle of the move, and you're right. The thud. The thud was nasty. Easy. I'll tell you. Shannon might maybe give uh, Jeff a little bit more breathing time than he would another opponent. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Watch out. Oh, God. Right in the goes Jeff Hardy. Courtesy of the head scissors takeover by Shannon Moore. Going to roll Hardy back in. Going to try and put him away with a pin. Gets two. Before Hardy gets that shoulder up barely before three. I mean, Mike, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I would say maybe 75, 80 percent of this match has been Shannon. Got to agree with you. If you're scoring this on points, like I know you do on many of these matches, Taz, you've yeah. got to have yeah, been the points for the match. Shannon Moore in control of this match. He's dominated. Definitely has. I, you know, I. Maybe you're right. I mean, just Jeff Hardy maybe just caught off guard by the challenge of Shannon. But here comes Hardy now. Hey, that's the risk you take when you issue an open challenge to anybody in the locker room to be caught off guard. That's yeah, a ballsy move. Both boots, the chest. Okay, off the top. Here we go. Stack the win. Yeah. That was for Taylor. Stacked him up, but even not being able to, to stack him up and put him away is impressive to me that Shannon Moore could get that leg strength to power out. You can just sense how bad Shannon wants this victory. But Jeff Hardy, he ain't going away too quietly. Ah! Oof! Twist of fate. That might be all she wrote. Hardy not satisfied with just the twist of fate. Gonna go high risk. He's trying to the top. The Reaction by Moore. Here's the pin. Oh, shit. It's got him. I'm a little surprised at Jeff Hardy going with his, his main move, his finishing move, on a guy who knows him so well, his best friend, a guy he confides in. Hence why I believe Shannon was able to counter it and bust up the swan top. So you're saying that Hardy wanted too much. He should have got the three count, but instead went to the top rope. Yeah. High risk with zero reward. When you go to win a match with your finishing move, you send a statement right to your opponent. No matter if you like the guy or not, it's a statement that's made. You can win a match with several different moves, not just your finishing move. So I think that Hardy was trying to make that statement. It didn't work. Moore has something in mind, the way he's got Hardy positioned up on top. We've seen in the past where he snaps off. Oh, that Hurricane Rana, that was the attempt. Maybe Jeff Hardy has seen that in the past, too. Oh, that time, the Swanton is nailed directly, and it gets him the three count. The winner of the match, Jeff Hardy. The tremendous one-on-one -on -one matchup in the Open Challenge. We still got match number five for the TNA Tag